Hi, I'm Jake, and this is the 2023 Cadillac Lyric EV. It's an SUV. As you can see, it has a 300 mile range with 340 horsepower and 325 pound feet of torque. Uh, when you equip it with the 19.2 kilowatt charger, you can recharge at 56 miles per hour on a 240 home charger. So that's pretty good. We're going to take a close look at the design and the interior and the exterior. So uh, come with us. All right, so right here at the front of the vehicle, and as you can see, there's a lot of cool stuff going on with this polycarbonate window and these uh, LED daytime running lights and headlights and high beams. So we're going to take a closer look with Brian Smith, the design director, executive design director for Lyric. So tell us a little bit about the front end here. Well, you know, really new uh, opportunities uh, arise for designers when we don't have to take in a bunch of airflow on the front end of a car for an internal combustion engine. So we've really taken that opportunity to explore a very new face for Cadillac. And that incorporates this black crystal shield that you mentioned. Um, it is radar transparent. We can package our sensors behind it. And we've taken the opportunity to embellish it with some uh, very precise pinstripes that we also use uh, to light and give the vehicle a really new signature at night. And this is all laser laser stuff, right? All these patterns and all that? Yeah, so what this is is polycarbonate. It's painted black on the back. And then we laser ablate the stripes so the black paint's then removed where the stripes are. And then one more shot of paint that is translucent to aid in the lighting. And uh, we build up the material in such a way that it stays uh, very consistent thickness for the radar to function. Mm. And uh, behind this is all your sensors and stuff, right? Your radar and your... We have a long range radar that supports Super Cruise that's uh, incorporated in that area, yes. And then so for your uh, high beams and low beams, um, what are special about these? Well, this is an industry first uh, headlamp that incorporates 15 millimeter wide LED modules. There's nine of them. The top three are the low beam, the bottom six are high beam. And uh, we also enable advanced driving beam with that. So uh, it's not legal in the US just yet, but it is enabled with the vehicle for uh, Europe and China. And once uh, North America uh, allows the uh, advanced driving beam to be uh, sold, then we'll incorporate that also in the vehicle. But um, these are only 15 millimeters wide and uh, really new uh, technology that allowed that and allowed us to keep this thing very tight. You can imagine, um, you have to be able to aim lamps in internally. Mm -hmm. and you can imagine a lamp that's that tall and vertical, when we start to aim it, we create some problems. Right. Things move around a lot when you talk about something that tall. So we've actually uh, incorporated a, a Venetian blind mechanism behind the scenes. So each one of these aims together, but individually on nice. in their own pivots. Um, but this is really uh, something that enables us to reinforce the Cadillac signature both day and night. You know, in the past, we've had our DRL signature being vertical, but we've always had to have something horizontal next to it for mm -hmm. forward lighting. So it's something we've been uh, looking forward to for a long time, and Lyric will be the first one to use it. Okay, back to the side here now. The first thing you're going to notice is these flush door handles, and show us how they open. All right, yeah, it's a simple push. The door pushes itself, and then you open it the rest of the way. It has a little plunger there that pushes the door open enough so you can grab it with your hand. Um, so this one also has a uh, panoramic glass roof, which you probably can't see from this camera, but they all have that, right? That is across the board? Yep, standard fixed glass roof, rail to rail. And then I see also a little spoiler back here. Now, why did you add that? Well, this is really an aerodynamic device that allows us to have a very SUV-like profile but make the vehicle behave more like a, a sedan in the wind tunnel. So we actually take airflow beneath the spoiler now through underneath and it comes out the back and then is tripped by this uh, mid spoiler at the back. Mm. The other added benefit of that is we don't need a rear wiper. So that airflow actually keeps the back class clear and we don't have to have the expense and, and mass of a, of a wiper motor. They're kind of ugly anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm really mm. That's uh, another, yeah, super cool feature. Okay, so now we're here at the back of the Cadillac Lyric, and I mean, it looks like a show car, and they were telling me upstairs that you really tried to stick to the show car here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we developed the show car early on in the development of this vehicle, and we used it to really push things and, and try new things and get them into production. Uh, one of the really unique elements of the Lyric, I think, is this upper tail lamp and the way this slim, elegant lamp wraps the corner and goes up the pillar. Uh, very fresh. Um, very recognizable and I think something on the road that you'll see from a mile away. I mean, we're, we've been all about, you know, thin 
vertical, uh, elegant tail amps. Uh, and this is something really fresh and new for us, I think. It also enables us to uh, swipe the turn and actually animate the turn mm -hmm. uh, now that it's got a horizontal element. So uh, we can only swipe in the direction of a turn if it's horizontal. It's something we can't do if we're just purely vertical. We don't right. get to put that motion in while the car is moving. And this back end does have a little animation when you uh, hit the unlock button like the front does. And also what you uh, shared with me earlier is that you can see this uh, taillight down here. It also kind of matches your center high stop mount light here, which is another cool feature that uh, we didn't notice right off the bat. Okay, we're now here with Crystal Wyndham, Interior Design Director for the Cadillac Lyric. Uh, so tell us a little bit about this beautiful interior. Obviously, the big screen is the main attraction. First of all, the designers had a clean sheet of paper. And the Ultium battery platform allowed us to carve out more space for the customer. Carve out more space for visibility, spaciousness, the components, uh, the technology, and storage. Is it extra so, fun for you because you have all this extra freedom? Absolutely. It's a designer's dream to have this much flexibility. So starting out big tech with the 33 inch diagonal display. It is um, an LED display. Uh, we celebrate clean design. So this technology allowed us to execute one large seamless graphic from edge to edge uninterrupted. Mm -hmm. um, the curvature of this lens, um, it everything else keys off of it. The overall design, you see the lines that, that wrap around from the IPN to the door, mm -hmm. all of that mimics the screen. It goes along also with our driver centric approach for our designs uh, with Cadillac. If you sit in the driver's seat, everything is at your fingertips. Mm -hmm. So you And that's a big deal that you can reach all the way to the corner of this if, if you need to. Absolutely. So first, we we have the touch screen here on the center. We also have the touch screen on the left as well. That's new too. You don't see that very often. The touch screen on the left right. here. Um, also, what the the battery platform allowed us to do is to really lean up the instrument panel, and the display appears as though it it floats. Mm -hmm. um, it's the crown jewel of this interior. But it also works in conjunction with the exterior with the locale that gives great visibility. Yes, great yeah, visibility. The, the, the dash feels very low. Yeah. And this, you know, um, sometimes I complain when the screens scoot up too high above the above the dash, but this is, I can still see a bunch of dash and all the way out in front of me. Um, so this stuff is beautiful in here too. All this uh, Knurling, is that what you yes, call it? Yes, yeah. knurling. So again, when we talk about clean, simple design, it, it really allows us to do even more. So when we talk about the screen and all the other functionality, we decided as a design team what we wanted to make a soft virtual control versus a hard control. Mm -hmm. We do want to give the customer that tactile experience, especially on the right type of functionality. The volume control, the multifunctional controller is a roller, uh, rotary knob mm -hmm. where you can interact with the screen. Your choice, touch or utilize the multifunctional controller. We have delineated the infotainment from the HVAC. And what that does is allow you to keep all your heated and cooling controls here with the toggle switches, easy to see, easy to use. Right, easy to hit while driving for sure. And uh, all of this, a lot of this design detail in here and here and here, it goes into your vent, um, your vent openers and closers. You have a little bit back here. It's all all right. um, streamlined so we're together. Really excited about that. I call it the layers of discovery. Mm -hmm. So we want our customer to fall in love with their vehicle over and over again. So that detailing, that knurling detailing repeats throughout the interior. It, we have a positive version of it where um, it's a relief on the, on mm -hmm. the surface and the decor and it repeats in the cup holder ring, the multifunctional controller, the vent adjusters and more. And then there's the the um, opposite of it where it's the same pattern, but it's cut out in different areas. Mm -hmm. Utilized as a speaker on, on the doors, mm -hmm. utilized as a ventilation pattern on the back of the screen. And then one of my favorite elements is the ambient lighting, a different approach to ambient lighting. Mm -hmm. That decor wraps around seamlessly and it's etched out that whole pattern is etched out in the daytime it gives it more of a, a shimmery look like the metallic like a a brush metallic, metallic look feel. yeah and during the night it illuminates so really you know the next step 
next answer to ambient lighting that really sets the mood for the interior. Well, it all looks super cool and we can't wait to drive it for real, but uh, thank you for talking to us. All right, so that's a quick look at the very pretty 2023 Cadillac Lyric SUV. Uh, like we said, it's coming out next year and hopefully we'll get to drive it soon. Thanks for joining us.